You guys in a relationship? Yeah. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Well, we're you talking. say yeah. You we're say talking, no. no. We are. We are not in a relationship. No. Okay. I guess we're not. <laughs> <laughs> Miscommunication here. No. Perfect communication. <laughs> He's actually just an acquaintance. I like. I like only recently like met him like two weeks ago. It was love at first sight, but she's shy. She needs time to like build into it. That's what I think. <laughs> no, I don't. Why does the friend zone exist? <laughs> For losers who are meant to be there. Hey, would you say he's in the friend zone? Yes, I do have a boyfriend. Oh, you do have a yes, boyfriend. Yes, not him. <laughs> just because there's a goalie doesn't mean he can't score, right? <laughs> oh wow, man! Wow, what? Wow. See, this is what women end up calling creepy. This is creepy. You know what I realized? If you look at the uncomfortable laughter with the chick, like she's actually kind of scared of this guy. She's actually kind of uncomfortable because he's very delusional. I mean, she's not taking it as a full on like threat to her safety or anything because he likes her and he seems kind of harmless. But there's something very delusional and creepy about like the way that he carries on with her and there's a lot of dysfunctional uncomfortable laughter in there and and man i don't like it bro like guys we gotta know our value we gotta look at what we're really doing see the problem with a lot of guys like him who are socially awkward or socially inept they don't even know what a relationship looks like he thinks that just because he knows her and that he spends time with her and she's of the opposite sex that they're in a relationship somehow or that they're at least talking because that's what he assumed when the dude asked a question the first time that's what he said. He said, but uh, aren't we talking? And that's what he actually thinks they're doing. He thinks that they're building towards something because he's delusional. He doesn't understand what an actual relationship looks like to know someone for two weeks. And all you've done is kind of talk and just hang out. And you think that you're in the talking stage or that you're building towards something. And I bet you they probably haven't like touched or kissed or anything. You see what I'm saying? But in his mind, he thinks that that's how a relationship is supposed to go because he has so little experience when it comes to relationships pretty much all the time when a guy's in the friend zone he's the one that put himself there we have to understand who we are as men we have to understand our masculine identity we have to understand our purpose and what we want out of life we have to embrace who we are and embrace our purpose and then make decisions accordingly so if you really want to be someone's boyfriend then you gotta go and talk to the chicks that show you that, right? You can't be delusional and try to grow on her like fungus or build towards something just by hanging out with her. Like you gotta let a woman know exactly what you want. And, and like I said, a lot of guys, they don't even know what it looks like. It seems to me that this guy doesn't know what being in a relationship or having a girlfriend or being someone's boyfriend, I don't think he knows exactly what it looks like. This is why he thinks that they're building towards something. This is why he's so delusional about the situation. And the crazy part, too, is that she basically called him a loser to his face, right? The guy said, why does the friend zone exist? And she says, it's for losers. <laughs> you understand? It's for losers who want to be there. That's what she said. So he's he, she's literally telling him. And that's what further makes me believe that like she's not actually comfortable with him. You understand? Like she is trying to be nice to him to save face and not disappoint him heavily but she's actually uh she's actually putting herself in more of a possible detrimental situation by stringing him along longer and longer i mean in subtle ways she's trying to give him the hint but he's not taking it you see what i'm saying so you know she i don't know man it's, it's kind of tough but a lot of these guys they put themselves in the friend zone simply because they don't know what a relationship looks like they don't know their value they don't know who they are and so if they don't know who they are then they don't know how to get what they want because if they don't know who they are then they don't know how to show up in a situation for what they actually desire and so they're willing to settle for anything right so he's settling for just hanging out and being an acquaintance thinking that he's building towards a relationship because in his mind oh it's love at first sight and they're building and she just needs a little bit of time to get used to it or whatever man this is a sad story and this guy's very delusional and uh she she needs to like figure out a way to really let him know the reality of the situation because he's not taking a hint you know what i'm saying so guys we have to know who we are as men we have to embrace who we are as men we have to know our masculine identity and we can't be putting ourselves in a friend zone bottom line do not end up like this guy okay do not end up like this guy whatever you do okay never lie to yourself and never lie to yourself about the relationship that you have with someone else, okay? The friend zone is only there because we allow it, okay? You only fall into the friend zone when you allow it, right? A woman only does to a man what he allows, okay? So as a man, you got to know your masculine identity, know who you are, embrace who you are, 
understand exactly what you want out of life and you need to understand how to get it. And if you want more information, go to MasculineIdentityMembership.com. Right now, I'm still doing the springtime sale where the first seven days of the membership is free. So you get full access to all the content for seven days for free. All right. So it's your boy, Miles Cunningham. Hope you got some from this video. Hope you're having a great day. Be good to yourself. And remember, the truth is inside you. Peace.